Last offseason, after Anthony Costanza retired, the Colts were scrambling for a left tackle and depth at the left tackle positions, or at the tackle positions in general. So they went out and they signed Eric Fisher, Julian Davenport, Sam Tevy, and they also traded for a guy in Matt Pryor from the Philadelphia Eagles. So I'd like to welcome you guys to the JW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. And today we're going to be talking about Matt Pryor and if Matt Pryor can be a solid piece for this offense line in the future, whether it's a depth piece or a starting piece. If you enjoy Colts content, NFL content, NFL draft content, NFL offseason, all that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, and put the post notification bells on so you don't miss any future uploads. So let's get into the video. So Matt Pryor, right, he was drafted by the Eagles in the seventh round of the 2018 draft, I believe, or the 2019 draft, one of those two. And and he wasn't expected to do much. You know, you're a seventh round pick, you're not expected to come in and do much. But his rookie year, didn't play much, didn't have a lot of snaps, barely any at all. And then the next year, he's, you know, he has over 700 snaps, and he doesn't play very well. Not a very good tackle, he was given a chance, and that was a lot. That was not this past year, but the year before, Matt Pryor played poorly for the Philadelphia Eagles and was one of the reasons why the Carson Wentz was sacked so much over in Philly. So then you come to Indy, and you come to play with the much more complete offensive line. You still have the same quarterback, but you come in, and you're expected to be a depth piece at first. You know, you, 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 know, you swap picks in the 2022 NFL draft, and you don't really expect him to come in and, and be insane. You don't really expect him to come in and start. You expect him to be a solid depth piece, and that exactly he was. He, you know, I would go as far as saying that he was better than a depth piece. You know, that he made that he may actually, you know, deserve. You know, he may actually deserve an opportunity to fight for that left tackle job this off season. So, so say the Colts sign Eric Fisher, right, and they have Fisher prior battle it out for the job. Whoever wins, wins. I'd be 100% okay with that. Now, I know last year Fisher didn't look very good. But gotta remember, he's older, coming off an Achilles tear. Give him a full offseason to stay healthy and to get condition, to get some strength back. Maybe he'll look like a different player. But if he doesn't, you have Matt, Matt Pryor to rely on. You have Matt Pryor who you could plug in there. But first, you do need to resign Matt Pryor. So you resign him and you give him a shot to compete for the left tackle position, whether he wins or not. He, he, he could be a future starter because don't forget, Eric Fisher is aging and he has had, has had some injury concerns. So Matt Pryor may be a really solid piece for this offense line at left tackle. I think he'd be able to fill in. He filled in very nicely for Braden Smith when he was her for quite a few games. He was awesome. He was much, than, much, much, much better than expected. That's all I got for you guys in this video. You know, just talking about Matt Pryor and his future of the Colts, maybe he could be a piece to this offensive line and really help the Colts get somewhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future videos. And there's going to be a video on the screen that you may want to go check out. Go check it out. And if you would like to, to subscribe, subscribe and put the post notification bell on so you don't miss any future content. That's it. And this is JDW Sports Talk Show signing off.